Hey, you doing here? Okay, I was trying to get the camera on and in the right place all at the same time. Okay, that's almost the center, isn't it? It's really... Let's go down just a little bit. Maybe there won't be so much light. Oops. Yeah. Now that still gets it in the picture. And there won't be so much of the sun coming in there fooling the sensor, maybe. Okay. That's, well, it's very, very dim, but I think usually what happens is you can see it in the video. Okay, so my problem, I, I went, the previous video to this one, all tied in, I sat there and looked at my brand new uh, relays and see if I could figure out how to wire them. They have so many different ways. They're kind of, you can do custom setups with them of all different kinds of things. make your horn honk when your mobile phone rings the old-fashioned kind the kind that are wired to the car back in the 70s and 80s uh, alarms all kinds of things <coughs> electric windows anyway I wasn't really quite sure I would know uh, I, I think I could do it if the horn already worked and I was replacing this one with that one but since I don't really know what's wrong I wouldn't know for sure if I had it wired right so and I got to thinking, you know, the only several times I hit it really hard and it worked. So it makes you think, well, there's something in that switch not connecting good, and when you hit it hard, it co connects. And it's it's connecting every time I touch this now, and it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's moving real good. That's because I got the screws backed up. So every time I tighten that up, it locks the uh, and what it's doing is locking down the connection. It connected too. So every time I tighten those up, it's locking that plate down. I've had that problem every time I've had this off. That's one reason why I hate taking it off. But uh, it's really tricky to get it back in there right. So, I'm thinking maybe, you know, I, I put it in there. I don't remember which way I put it in there, but it's kind of concaved a little bit. I think just from age and stuff, I don't think it was actually made to be that way. It might have been. But, uh, yeah. Well, actually, the way I have it is what I would think. I don't know if that can be seen in the video at all, but it's more bowed out on this side, and that would be the way that I would think would make it more likely to get up on these, you know. But that's the trick here. It's getting this to uh, go on here. Guess I'm not doing it on the camera, am I? Getting this on here and down without it getting off sideways and uh, getting trapped under these insulators. And I have not been able to do it so far. Let's see. I wonder if I had a way to keep it until I got it. Well, see, this is really tied up in here around that nut. I was just thinking if I even kind of took a spring and might be able to or a paper hook a bent paper hook paper clip well, that's, I'll get them started and then maybe I can pull it back with a bent paper clip or something but see I tried to hurry and get it down there <laughs> like that you know I can move faster than gravity can if you didn't know that it's not exactly gravity I mean it's not it's lean but it's not you know it's not going straight down at least if you hold your tongue in the right place, maybe we'll get it. I've done it lots of times before. Actually, I'm kind of holding it in. I don't know what's the best way, but I'm not going to tighten them all the way up. I'll just barely snug them, see if it still moves. And if it does, then I'm good. It wouldn't move. And that's when you know you got that thing trapped. And I can hear it. When I touch it, I can hear it making the... Okay, I don't have it right. have it tight yet what I'm trying to do is back it up just enough not to really leave a space but just not to have it down on it and move it I can get this screwdriver in here kind of move around on it but the thing is it's probably gone like that a little bit oh so try to do instead of I kept moving it you know left to right 
I just realized I probably need to try to turn it a little bit. Let me go get my my scratch off. That'd be real pointy, maybe it'll do it. I do have a paper clip here also that's already been made into a strange hook way too big for that, but I could put a little hook down on the end of it if that would help. But first let's try the scratch on see if I can turn it a little bit. And I have a small You know it doesn't seem like that it's in the wrong place. There's only one place where I can Kind of tell, get a hold of it. There's three slots in it. There. That one. There it is. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, it moves now. I don't hear the clicking anymore, but it moves. Okay, so maybe I got it just by trying to by turning it. That's what I should have been doing all along. I'll just kind of snug them up. See if that uh, get the clip out of the way. I think it. I think it's down on it again. I don't know. Okay. It does still move. Yeah. It'll move now. It doesn't move a lot. But it moves. Okay, so I'm going to snug them up. Now this switch in here may be my problem. It, but what I don't get is if it's bad, then why does it not give me every indication that it's working by sparking, even shocking me when I... So it's a hot, it's a hot switch. It's, it's switching on the hot. That's obvious. <laughs> Unless it's shorted, and if it's shorted, you'd have, you know, fuses blowing out, or that relay would be, be clicking constantly, or something. Well, it might only click so long and then quit. It might be set to do that. Okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes it clicks. Sometimes it doesn't. So this switch must not be working. Right. I think that clicking was a hard clicking, but I think it was up here. That first thing I was trying to do when I got myself wore out before when I needed to eat lunch is try to make the horn honk from under there with the relay out. Maybe what I need to do. It might just be a coincidence that hammering on it made it honk. See, sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. But it's, every indication I got is that this switch was making a switch. And it does move like it should now. So it's, I'm not going to just pull the steering wheel. I mean, that's not, pulling the steering wheel is kind of, you know, I don't like doing it necessarily. But it's not as hard as what I've done all day to that. Not even close. You're not down under the dash, you know. You, one thing you got the problem with is the sun and the heat. But uh, when you're in that, in, in that like I am today, but uh, I can take that off there again. Let's see. And uh, I'll leave this camera where it is until I maybe I'll just pull it out. I think I've showed it fairly well. But I don't know how many times the camera went off right in the middle of it. That's the thing. But I don't care anymore. I'm so tired. I'm gonna quit pretty soon. I'm gonna have to. I just wanted to get this back in its right place to, before I quit. That's the thing. Yeah, there's some nasty gooey stuff. I don't know what in the world that is. I need to try to clean that off. And when you start driving, you just I mean, it's thick gooey stuff. I, like it's tree sap or something. can't even imagine what it would be. It's all down in there, too. 
big spot there and a big spot there. And I ain't gonna worry about that till I'm done fixing it. I'll probably get more like I, I got. I, I may have gotten a little bit of that anti corrosion stuff on there, but not. That's not what that is. Though. I know for sure. That's thick and it's not the same stuff. But, uh, paper clip. Okay. Sun shining on my screwdrivers. It's probably end up getting hot. Getting out of there. This whole time, and I unplugged up the power. Now I brought my drop lot in here and used the plugs on it to plug up the camera. Let's see. Now what do I want to do? I want to get the uh, relay out. I'll try again. Okay, and I'll try again to uh, hot wire it. I found some more. I found my other. I found my motor manual for well. I've got a motor manual from like what is it? Seventy-five? No, it's. 69 to 75 or something like that. This is a 76 and I didn't even open it yet But I can't I think maybe it's just for cars not trucks. It may have trucks in there but I used to use that all the time and I, I, I went and dug it out a while ago. It was in the bottom drawer of my desk there that, that I Was you know been used all the time in the garage here. Uh, I'll be back with uh, and, and take that out Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm slower than usual because I'm just quite not that organized in the brain anymore. Okay, so I've got a couple of screwdrivers and stuff in case I can't get it off my hand. So. Might be able to do it more by feel than anything now. not too hard to get off pretty greasy up there got stuff all over it just with it being up there if I, I'll show it again little blue plastic one relay three position relay and I don't think I got I was thinking I wonder if those new brand new relays would actually plug into that if I you know it's it's got and, and get lucky enough that the right pins were connected that it would work but in the right configuration, but I'm wiping it off. Okay, so I th what I was trying to do is get the hot to go to the green, but now I, re I believe the green, big green wire and the little black wire, the little black wire I'm pretty sure comes up here. And a little big green wire goes out there, and I think it's, uh, wait. I've already figured out this is a hot switch. So no, it's not a grounded switch. So maybe I was right. Maybe it should go from green to from uh, hot green to red to make the horn honk from down there uh, so I don't need all this junk now okay uh, trying to keep this stuff from being in the direct sun now use the best to have your tools the way you can get to them Okay, um, jumper. What kind of jumper? There's no sense in having this pointing at the. Boy, the sun is just plays havoc on all that, doesn't it? I have to get down in there, so I can't really have this in there with me. It just doesn't work. Ah, I see. Okay. I mean, I'm only going to be really be showing myself. I can't show that unless I could get that down in there. And with a wire, well, I can get it down that way, but not down in there. Okay, so I've showed that several times. Uh, 
What can I use to do the jumping? I'll go get my jumper wires. Let's see. I'll just, well, instead of leaving the camera just sitting here this whole time, I might as well take him with me. And then if I decide to re aim it for the other part, that'll be good. Okay. Better to show something than nothing. Right? Okay, so. Yeah, I found the rest of my newer jumper wires. These have clips on them. They were in my my little. I have a little plastic box that I keep my old multimeter in, and I used to use it all the time. And so they were still in there. Two yellows and a black, and then these are the other ones that are kind of really old and mismatch ends that aren't insulated and all that. <coughs> I was using something like that. That's how I thought I had blown the fuse using this one. It bends easier. <coughs> Still probably the one that'll go in there. These ones with the clips, I don't think they'll go in there. I'll just take I'll just take all those. Don't know for sure what I might need. That ground wire. I think the ground wire is what makes the Causes the electric switch to work. The relays are electric switches. I know that much about them. Alright, let's see. Electromagnet switches. Oh, that's what's wrong with this. The legs were loose. I knew it kept turning when it shouldn't be. The head had come loose from the rest of it. Let's see. Now, if I can still get in there enough. Hell. Okay, so it's not gonna put it back the way I had it. Really, the only huh. yeah. When I get down in there to do all that, well, let's just try it. See if me and the camera can live together in there. I don't know that we can, but we'll try. view of the top of my head possible. Right. You know, I always hated when they started making everything out of plastic. People, you know, love plastic and 3D printers and all that. And I think they're pretty cool. But, you know, stuff made out of plastic does nothing but fall apart and break for the most part. I'm not going to turn around and show it to you, but I picked up my drop light by the little cage and it just completely came off there. And it's done it a million times in its life. It drives me insane. The, the old metal one that I took off of here, now the old metal one that I took off of here, it was so rigid that it would break, the light bulbs would break every time you dropped the light. Well, I can't get it back on there. I'm going to leave it. I'm not using it. But, uh, well, I certainly messed up the aiming of the camera, didn't I? How did I do that? There. I guess I bumped into it or something. Okay, so. I'm trying to keep it plugged up so it won't go down on me. Okay, now. Should be able to kind of crawl in here. <laughs> see it. Oh yeah, I remember earlier today I needed the light. I can actually see, yeah I can tell which one's the red one and all that. So, I don't know if I need to try to run the ground to ground. First I'll just try jumping from green to red without shorting anything out. You know what this U hook might do? It. One of those 
those other ones might if these won't. There's some really gooey stuff up there. Oh, it's my parking brake mechanism. It's got grease on it. Doesn't make it do anything. I was actually able to plug that in there. Now, if I can just make sure I'm not short it out. Maybe if I go get my test light, I can't let go of this thing. It's going to swing and short on something. And these other jumpers, if I could get one in the ground and hold on to this and keep it from shorting. Can I hang this from something to keep it away from everything else? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's put together now. I think I'll go get my test lamp because maybe if I use it as a ground, it will uh, actually cause it to make a circuit. Be right back. I can hook my see the point on it can go into the, the connector and then I can hook that on the ground. Oh let's see. Oh. I think this pedal is a good ground if I remember right. It comes on. Oh I touched the power. Okay, I didn't mean to, but that tested it. Where is the other one? Maybe I don't have it the way I thought I did. No, I do. Okay, the horn don't honk. I would have thought it would honk. Somebody try pushing the horn button now. I got it to stay in there. No, I didn't. I know it wouldn't stay. Okay. Uh, what's the good thing about using the old test light? If you accidentally short it, it doesn't actually short. It just turns the light on. But it'll still make you complete your circuit for you. Stay up there. I guess I need another one of these male connectors to poke in there and it would stay like this one is. Okay, well, I need something like that then. This is too big to go up in there be perfect but it's too big to go up in there okay I'll leave the test light out here but I don't want to break it or anything put it up there okay I'm gonna go get another connect uh, another jump I could get a male one of those I mean a flat male and put it up in there but and then well, it doesn't have wire on it already and this does and my paper clip 
would work, but it got well, it's, it's supposed to ground, so I'll try it. I don't think it can reach anything, but we'll see. That way, it won't, it won't be something swinging quite as long and free. Just so I don't want to accidentally touch the, the hot with it. Or if I'm not touching anything. Yeah, that's in there, right? Problem is, I don't know if I'm grounding. It's staying in there okay. So I guess I can hook up my, uh, I'll do my test lead, I guess. I'm gonna hook the one end, this end onto the paper clip, this end I can touch the ground. Okay, that don't make the horn on. Oh, my whole thing was to match the button, wasn't it? So let's try it with the actual jumper wire with two clips on. It'll probably work, maybe. Okay. Put one on the paper clip, and this is what I'm talking about. Just a regular jumper wire. Yeah, it's in there good, so that was really a thought. Now, I know that that makes a circuit because on that pedal, because it made the light come on a minute ago. It doesn't do anything now. It must not be the right way. So maybe it does go green to black. Let's see. Let's just try that. Next. Let's get all this out of there so that I can't short anything. best one to do that with probably I guess this one because I can stick it in one of them and then touch it to the other it may not need power to just jumper it Try having to do it one handed because I can't get both hands up in there. That's pretty hard to do. Yeah, I should make me. I probably used to have one. I don't know. But I need one. Well, the thing is, those spades are all different widths. So they don't always. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, I might need to mash the horn button, huh? Okay. So maybe. I don't understand the circuit. That's the thing. Oh no, I thought it was something I kind of knew, but I didn't. This won't go in there and stay. Just did in.
of these don't work. I think maybe I'm getting hotter and hotter. Okay. Um, I was thinking if those regular, I have a you know a kit of these connectors. If I have some that will go in there, I'm gonna get a couple of them. I'll kind of try to see. Actually, I can re-bend this paper clip into a U-shape. Does it even matter how I do it? Just as long as they're oh, well, they got to be close together. I go with the spades first, and then try that. Okay. Let's see if we're still recording. I have some spades. That's what I'm calling them. Male connectors. Can't seem to tell where I'm at with both hands. You know, I'm going to put two, one in each one and then I'll jump across them. They're close enough together. I may be able to, might be able to just poke one of these in, uh, you know, across both of them. Or use a regular jumper, we probably won't go in there. Let's see if they would. Actually, they will. So, yeah. Oh, that's not the jumper. That was the, uh, where is it? Yeah, I'll put them in there and use them as handles to hold on to them with. Maybe. And then. Then I'll match the horn button. There. If they fit. If they're too wide, then they won't go in. Well, they look like they're the same width as what I as the male connectors on the relay, so maybe don't go in there. Okay, that one went. As long as my jumper wire will stay. I don't think the horn will honk when I do this. I don't believe. I thought it shorted. It was just the clip coming loose. I thought I had to touch the other one, the hot one. Got one on there. If I can get this other one back on there, I should have a circuit. Should. Yeah, okay, it's connected. I actually kind of thought that would just make the horn honk. And it doesn't either way. So I don't understand the circuit. I think I'm going to have to study my book and see if it will show me how that works. I don't know. It has all the mechanical details in that motor manual. 
And the cars are probably similar, similar enough, even if the trucks aren't listed. But I don't know if there's an electrical. I can't remember. I know there takes a real talent to decipher them. The 